Hi, Mr. Corsi here. Now, at the end of part one, we were looking at this pattern of dots. And recall that for a dot to survive to the next generation depends on its number of neighbours. For instance, the dot at the top has one neighbour, the one below it has three, the one on the right has only one neighbour, the bottom left dot has two neighbours, and the one on its right has exactly three neighbours. Now recall a dot with two or three neighbours survives, a dot with only one neighbour will die of loneliness. Births occur in empty cells with exactly three neighbours. There's one. And there's another. So let's bring on the generation clock and watch the proceedings. Now for this new configuration, here's the neighbour numbers. And you note the central dot Having four, it dies from overcrowding. Two and three will survive, one dies from loneliness. And again, as in the last one, there will be two new births. One here, and one here. So let's watch as the next generation unfolds. So you notice after two generations we have an arrangement similar to the original one. Not quite, it's actually a glide reflection of the original one. So again, three of these survived, two die, and there's two births. So three generations later, this is the configuration again, three survive, to die, and we'll have another two births. So four generations later, we look like we're back where we started. But are we? Let's look back at the original configuration. So after four generations, all the dots have moved one square diagonally. So presumably after another four generations, they'll all move another square. Let's go back to the original configuration and watch it all unfold. Now here's another glider, slightly different position. Which direction does it travel in? So now I'm going to set up two gliders. And if you now imagine their direction of travel, you can see that what I have set up is a glider crash. Beautifully symmetric. And here's the result. Six blinkers. So let's set up another glider crash. This time the right hand glider has been moved slightly, so there's no symmetry in this setup. So let's watch, but we'll zoom out a bit before we set it going. Thank you. 
the final result. We have a set of traffic lights consisting of four blinkers and we've also got emerging from the debris a new glider. So let's set up a more ambitious crash. This last crash we're going to look at consists of four gliders. So let's sit back and watch the show. Finally, it looks like everything's been resolved. Let's zoom out a bit just to see the full picture. And there it is. The one at the top, there's a new one. It's called, uh, it's called a ship. Seven blocks, two beehives, one ship, one blinker. And remember, one glider went off screen. So that's Mr. Corsi signing out. Hope you enjoyed the video.